Good evening, YouTube. It's been over three years since I dropped cable TV service and over a year since I dropped satellite TV service. I built an over-the-air TV system to replace the subscription services, including a whole house DVR feature based on Windows Media Center. You can see an overview of my system in this video. This system has been working great and it works much better than the subscription systems did. So one thing that intrigued me with Media Center originally was this extender feature. With a Media Center extender, you can connect additional TVs to your main Media Center PC and access the exact same features remotely. Microsoft touts this functionality is built into many devices including DVD players, TVs, or gaming systems. Microsoft wouldn't tell a fib, would they? And here's a video that shows a Media Center extender in action. That sounds interesting. Let's go look for a device to let me do that. This is the DMA 2100. So here we go with the DMA 2100. And it says, The small, sleek Linksys by Cisco Media Center Extender brings the power of your Windows Media Center and your digital music, movies, and photos to any TV in your home without running wires. But wait, what's this? Discontinued. Okay, let's try another brand. How about the Seton Echo? Great, looks like it's still available. $179 price isn't unreasonable. But wait, what's this? Windows 8 does not support non-Microsoft extenders, including the Seton Echo. Well, that's a bummer. I have the Windows 8 version of Media Center for various reasons that I covered in another video. So scrolling down a little bit, there's a mention of a Microsoft extender, the Xbox 360. Let's have a look at that. It looks like the Xbox 360 is what I would need then. So $200 more or less for one of those. But wait! I scroll down here, number five, test Xbox Live connection. So that means I need to purchase an Xbox Live subscription. That's around $60 per year. So let me get this straight. I have to pay $5 per month to access my free TV recordings on my own home media server. Sure, if I were a gamer and already had an Xbox 360 and live account, I would have a free Media Center extender, but I don't. And then, there's this. Following up on the note on Seton's webpage, an Xbox 360 uses about 120 watts of power in a media viewing mode. Heck, that's as much power as my old media PC uses, and it doesn't need a live subscription to operate, and I was able to add Media Center to it for $40. So none of the available options for a Media Center extender really met my needs, so I ended up with a Media Center PC for each TV. But maybe there's a way to get most of the extender functionality without needing to turn on a PC just to watch a recorded TV program. And being that it's the Pi Day of the century, 3.1415, I'll wager it might be possible to do this with a Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned to this channel as I dig into this project further. And for a final thought, recall this shot of the Media Center Extender setup screen? That's right off my Windows 8 PC running Media Center. And outside this Xbox 360 reference, it's all a lie.